Are you still in your teenage years and want to start bulking? Tired of feeling insecure? We have good news for you. Getting ripped or big or both aren't exclusively the goals of fully grown men. But teens and even younger 20-somethings aren't yet grown men. Sorry. So your training has to be a little different too. Mostly in good ways. Younger bodies respond better than older ones. All those raging hormones are good for something. In today's video, we'll show you how skinny teenagers can bulk up fast. So if you're one of the teens tired of being skinny, keep on watching. Warming up before working out. Warming up serves several very important purposes. In the beginning stages of a workout, your body needs some priming before it's ready to perform the heavy work ahead. Without this priming procedure, your body will be functioning at less than its most efficient and your workout will suffer. The warm-up serves to, among other things, prime the nervous system for heavy work, increase mental alertness and awareness, rehearse the proper technique of the exercise being done, and subtly stretch and loosen the muscles, joints, and connective tissues, making them less susceptible to injury. The first stage of the warm-up is a general whole-body movement of some sort, preferably an aerobic machine or motion. Jumping rope, leg jogging, jumping jacks, stationary cycling, etc. are all great movements to get some blood flowing and allow you time to reflect on the tough stuff ahead. If you're doing stationary bike, you can even review your workout logs while you warm up so you can already have in mind what you are doing for the day. This part of the warm-up should last only about 5-10 to 10 minutes, just long enough to raise your body temperature a little. You begin by loading the bar with about 50-60% to 60 of the day's heaviest weight for your starting exercise, and do the number of reps that you are going to be doing during that day's heavy sets. The idea here is to simply rehearse the exercise and to get some blood flowing directly to the area being worked. In your next set, you will raise the weight to 80% and repeat the procedure. This is important since your nervous system can take a little time before it's ready to fire in full force. Your next step is to increase the weight to 90% of the day working poundage and do only 2-3 reps. Take a brief rest, say 30 seconds or so, and repeat this procedure. You're now ready to start into your heavy set for the day. The whole reason for going up to 90% of your working poundage is acclimation. Take a brief rest and repeat this procedure. Before we continue, a like would be great. Skinny teenagers, this is how to bulk up fast. Number 1. Eat a sensible and balanced diet It seems like common sense to say that eating habits have a lot to do with your success. These days, diets are the first subject of conversation. Most teenagers have a problem when it comes to eating enough good food. A simple rule of thumb is to have three square meals planned for the day, along with two smaller snacks that can bookend your training, pre- and post-training. As a teen, it can get confusing and frustrating to get caught up in the weeds and track every calorie. Just eat quality, nutrient-dense foods such as meats, fish, turkey, eggs, milk, chicken, cheeses, rice, pasta, potatoes, oats, fruits, vegetables, and plenty of water. Try not to think too much into it. Eat a sensible, balanced diet and monitor your weight. If you're not gaining weight on a monthly basis, up your calories a bit, and if you're gaining too much fat, cut back a little. A sample daily menu could look as simple as this. It's nothing fancy, but it will give you a solid starting point to adjust later. Number 1. Breakfast One bowl of oatmeal or healthy whole grain cereal with milk, banana, and a glass of milk. Number 2. Lunch one or two turkey sandwiches on wheat bread, piece of fruit, or granola bar. Number three, afternoon. One bowl of oatmeal or whole grain cereal or a sandwich with natural peanut butter and a glass of milk. Number four, post-workout, protein shake. Number five, dinner, chicken, beef, or fish with pasta, rice, or potatoes, and green vegetables. Number two, train with intention. Training can take a backseat to your diet. People mistakenly view training as a go-through-the-motions activity and pay little attention to its power and effectiveness. Training volume, loads, frequency, and recovery all need to be considered to get the most from your training. But here's the caveat, don't overthink things. Overanalyzing every excruciating detail will only leave you frustrated and never completely comfortable. You'll always have an uneasiness about your training that'll leave you antsy that there's something better out there you could be doing. You'll lack the confidence required to make your current program successful. 
Gaining muscle isn't rocket science. All you need is a logical, sane approach when designing a program. No special bells and whistles are required, just basic multi-joint exercises combined with a progression mindset. As with most things in life, moderation usually prevails and that goes for your training as well. There are countless useful programs out there, but heed a few hard and fast rules before pressing start. Number 1. Choose two or three exercises per body part, with most from the multi-joint category. Number 2. Perform three to four sets of six to twelve reps each. Number 3. Use proper form. Number 4. Rest between one to two minutes between sets. Number 5. Use a moderate tempo, two seconds up and two seconds on the descent. Number 3. Tame the ego. As a young and upcoming lifter, you will have to learn to control your own ego. You walk into any gym and see bigger, stronger bodies all around. Seasoned lifters who seem light years ahead of where you are currently. From the start, you must focus on form, function, and try your best to feel movements, rather than just lift objects from point A to point B. You will still get results, but you'll also get better function, fewer muscle pulls and pain, and better long-term gains. Leave your ego at the door. If your goal is to gain muscle, increase strength, and create a body to be proud of, you will have to push yourself beyond your comfort zone. But not at the expense of risking injury, shortchanging your form, and limiting your range of motion. Just enter the gym, focus on what you have to do, and leave all that show-off BS to the other guys. Number 4. Recover as hard as you train One of the more common mistakes many teenage lifters make is the lack of consistency in how they sleep and recover. As with diet, one or two days of adequate rest per week just won't cut it. Proper rest and recovery should be viewed as a daily, weekly, and monthly practice, not something that can be made up on the weekends. Shoot for 7-9 to nine hours of quality rest per night. To help make sure that happens, shut down your electronic devices an hour or two before bed. Recovery is really the hidden secret to progress. This shouldn't be a green light for you to be lazy. Even on rest days, it will benefit you to stay active in extracurricular activities or other recreational endeavors. Sitting on the couch, binge-watching your favorite shows isn't exactly optimal for the purposes of growing muscle. Number 5. Keep it fun If the process is no longer fun, find something else to do. You shouldn't feel like going to the gym as a job. Yes, there will be days when you feel like you're dragging yourself through those doors and need a shot of adrenaline just to warm up. But if those days outnumber the great days, then you need to look at your rest and recovery habits. Adjust your volume and intensity or reevaluate your motivation. It's not worth the time, effort, and dedication if you dread the process. Don't be a prisoner to the gym. Don't quit either. There's always a way to adjust your training in such a way to meet both what you need to do and what you enjoy doing. Your teen years should be fun, educational, and enlightening. Try not to overthink this whole gaining strength and muscle thing. Adopt a few sound principles of quality training and good nutrition, consistently work hard, and have a blast doing it. The power is in your hands. Do it the right way, and you'll develop habits to last a lifetime. Are you ready to begin bulking up? Let us know your thoughts by leaving a comment below. If you liked the video, give it a thumbs up. For more interesting facts on the human body, subscribe to the channel. Here are two more videos you should check out. Both of them will definitely help you reach your goals.